the Harvest Army Church International Presence, the World Vision Convention. August 10 to the 31st, 2014. Featuring all the way from Australia, Evangelist Dean Clark. Because anytime God calls you to be something in the initial stages, you will look the opposite of what you're anointed for. From Canada, Pastor Vira Stewart. From Guyana, Apostle Patrick Tulsi. Apostle P. Miggin. And Apostle Mark Ben. From Jamaica, West Indies, Bishop Norman Fagan. Bishop S. Farron. And Overseer E. Fagan. And your host, Bishop K.D. Collins. Beyond salvation, beyond sanctification, beyond soul winning, and I'm going to cause you to see in the spirit. Also, Overseer E. Collins. Because I'm living my life for the future. Come on, somebody. The future days. Hallelujah with God. It's better than now. Featuring powerful prophecies and fulfillments. Prophecy, July Prophecy, 6th. March 23rd. February 23rd. 2014. In a vision, vision, vision. Taiwan is embroiled in a major airline disaster. A plane in Taiwan crashed, killing 51 people. More sinkholes will appear in the USA. <laughs> Arises from a bird-like creature or bat. Then spreads to Africa where it does much damage. During Africa's biggest Ebola outbreak in seven years, scientists have found evidence of the African Ebola virus in Asian fruit bat. Join us with spirit filled worship. Experience World Vision Outpouring, first hand. Come receive the gift of prophecy. Also featuring the New York City Harvest Army Chorale, the Southern Choir, the Youth Choir, and many more dynamic preachers and singers. Joel 2.28 And it shall come to pass afterward, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. Jesus as your saviour, know that he died on the cross for your sins. Australia, Australia, turn back to God. Uh, for our vision day, we represent the country of Hong Kong. We are Christians from the Church of God. We love the Lord Jesus Christ. We are here today to tell the world that Christ is able to save from sin. In the name of Jesus, there is no other way. Lord, you love him so much. In Jesus Christ, I pray that you may rescue me. The Bible says, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Save all you in the earth, for I am God and there is no other. Jesus! Somebody say Jesus! Jesus! The Bible says, he said that his son is to condemn you, but through him you might be saved.
On July 5, 2014 at 12 noon, the whole Earth experienced for the first time in modern history, a new paradigm called World Vision Day. The body of Christ from different nationalities, kindred, country, culture, starting from Australia the most easterly part of the globe. Australia, Australia, turn back to God. It's time for a revival. It's time to revive yourself back to Jesus Christ. And then I re decide to turn from sin, yeah. and uh, with your help, Jesus, I, I uh, decide to follow your teachings. Yeah. Hey everyone, here we are on World Vision Day. We represent the country of Hong Kong, and we pray for all the people of Hong Kong. This is World Vision Day. It's one day, one hour, one voice, one accord. So come and join us to get the message of Jesus Christ and the gospel out to the whole world. This is our day and this is World Vision Day. Today is the day of salvation. Harden not your heart. Do not put away God. Children sharing the gospel, handing out tracts. Jesus as your saviour, know that he died on the cross for your sins. Allow him into your lives and you'll be changed. Forever. The devil's biggest lie is that we have time. We don't have much left. Turn to Christ. He said, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. World Vision Day! And make you whole again. There's only one way to heaven. There's only one way, and that is Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. To the Americas, the most westerly, with one voice. One accord, in one place preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, together the same day and hour on the highway. We love the Lord Jesus Christ. And we are here today to tell the world that Christ is able to save from sin. The Bible says that the Son of God was manifested. Many will come in His name, claiming that He is Christ. Please think twice while you have time. If you believe in him, you'll have everlasting life. Come on, come to Jesus. We get to go to heaven because of Jesus. Oh, good. God's, God's, not dead. God's not dead. World Vision Day report from St. Albans, New York. It was a pleasure and a blessing to participate in today's World Vision Day evangelism. I would like to report that United Full Gospel Church of God, St. Albans, New York participated in today's worldwide one voice moment. Several of us went out to preach and witness, uh, but we took the streets of St. George's for Jesus, uh, prophesying the coming of Jesus Christ, uh, and the no tracks which finished faster than was expected. Uh, it took a while for me to start preaching after, glory to God, I left for work, but then I did start. I Reach out aloud for about an hour. It was amazing being my first time. World Vision Day report from Georgia, USA. Today I joined a group of believers as we went to a park in our city, preaching, praying with people, handing out tracts, and sharing the love of Jesus. This was the first time several of us had ever done that. I want to thank you for organizing World Vision Day. I feel that this was a starting point for several of us and now I feel we must continue to go out and spread the gospel. Byways, streets and corners, worldwide. Jesus Many believers preaching for the first time, reported a type of Pentecostal outpouring, 
that empowered them to minister, and fire baptism that they could not stop preaching and prophesying. Shane Bryce from Auckland, New Zealand, representing God of Harvest Army. Heard about them through the YouTube channel, World Vision Day. Uh, yesterday was my first day preaching for one hour. It took me 20 minutes to get started because I was nervous. But once I started, I couldn't stop. Jesus is the only one. Jesus is King. Deliver me from sin. Deliver me from sin. Deliver me from hell. Deliver me from hell. I want to go to heaven with you. I want to go to heaven with you. When you come back. When you come back. Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you. For saving me. Saving me. Saving my soul. Saving my soul. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It is that. As simple as that. As thank you. Simple as that. Thank you. That's it. God doesn't make it difficult. Rural fishing was to be amazing. Amazing in the sense of that uh, Christ gives us freedom and uh, it was powerful to see so many people sharing their faith of Christ to other people, to let people know that Jesus is all about love and that he cares for all of us. It was powerful that people took the freedom and the opening that we got in the day to let people know, leaving everything behind but to let people know. That was the common purpose for all of us there and it was amazing. We all were blessed. But I changed. The Holy Spirit came into my life and now I'm a new man. The Bible says all things pass away. I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus. It's going to be over. You're going to run to the church. You're going to run to the church. World Vision Day report from West Coast Demerara, Guyana. We were able to witness to many people and share the word of God with them. We preached and shared testimonies as well. Appropriate tracts were shared in the hundreds. We were very blessed to have been a part of World Vision Day. God is doing great things. Prayers were made for our nations as well. It was also another opportunity for saints from various churches to gather together in a public setting with one voice. World Vision Day report from Haiti. July 5, 2014 was a great day for us from 12 to 2 p.m. We preached and many people heard the gospel. Several people gave their lives to Jesus Christ. July 5 was a good day. World Vision Day report from North Carolina, USA. Just got back from passing out leaflets for announcing the Lord's coming in Lincolnton, NC. We gave out over 500 leaflets. We planted a lot of seeds for the Lord to water today. Praise the Lord. We are talking to Pastor Martin from Elura in India. How was the World Vision Day today, Pastor? Yes, we are really blessed, Father Tommy Church, to India. Amen, amen, amen. And um, we, we did everything there, more so attending to our church. Okay, that's awesome, that's awesome. This can be the time, the hour, the minute of acceptance. For God so loved the world that he gave, that he gave his, his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Don't let too late be your. Just give him a try now. He is the problem fixer now. World Vision Day report from Harvest Army in Liberia. Hi, brethren. Praise be to God, World Vision Day was successful at our end, despite of the heavy pull down of rain. 
we pray before going out on the street with the message of Christ soon coming the end time is here. Many people was touched and got saved by leading them to Christ. World Vision Day will continue at our end by going out every day with the message of the end time and repentance. World Vision Day we 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 have an awesome time. We the moment of the twenty third day the last time. Yeah. Well, said ten yeah. people gave their life to Christ. That's very awesome. Now we hear the evangelist uh, Christian 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 Christian
visionaries. Did I get the connection between world vision day? My, 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 my. Come on. The Lord says bigger than that. The same way I use you to deploy in 30 days millions of visionaries across the world I'm going to teach you the three day plan you're moving 30 days you're going to also have a three day plan a 10 day plan a three hour plan Holy Ghost, help me to communicate. This part is very hard to communicate. Holy Ghost, help me. The same way you can deploy in 30 days visionaries across the world and they storm the countries of the world in one hour. You must be ready to do a three-day deployment. You must be ready to do a one-week deployment. Holy Ghost, I ain't getting to you must be ready, watch me now, holy, holy. You must be ready to do a three-hour deployment. Glory to God. God said that right now we, we've got to increase the tours to these countries. But as we increase the tours, we've got to raise up local visionaries. We've got to raise up indigenous visionaries. Holy Ghost, help me here. Holy Ghost, help me to communicate this thing. Sit down for a moment. What God is saying, but I am raising up an underground army. Glory to God. Across the earth, an army that don't have to be in the walls. An army that is not hindered by tradition. Come on, somebody. An army across the earth, but I can mobilize and deploy in 90 days or in 60 days or in 30 days or in 10 days or in 3 days or in 3 hours or in 3 minutes oh God of mercy here come on just as when they have the Iraq war they took 3 months to plan and to, to send those, the, 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 those ship, big ships that carry the plane they take forever no God said my body glory to God I'm going to have them spread across the world and one little notice they rush to their bathroom and run out up the street and in one hour they go back home and take the report and it's 10 million saved you don't want nothing you don't want nothing you, you, just, you, you, don't, you just want to stay in tradition you, you don't hear what I said you can get amen and notice all visionaries amen from Africa to Germany to Asia to South America to Caribbean to America move in one hour you move to your town you go for it in one hour when you come back 10 million said Tell me with the sixth kingdom. The sixth kingdom was the Roman kingdom. But number six is the number for man. Man cannot go beyond six. Number seven is God's number. And there must be a seventh kingdom. That's why Islam fighting so hard. That's why the Buddhists fighting so hard. That's why the Hindus fighting so hard. That's why all them religions, Rastafarianism, fighting so hard for recognition. They are trying to own the seventh kingdom. But the seventh kingdom cannot be Islamic. It cannot be Buddhist. It cannot be Hindu. It cannot be Rastafarian. It cannot be secular. It's the Messiah's kingdom. My God, my God, my God. Is the king of kings kingdom is the lord of lords kingdom say amen somebody say amen somebody say amen somebody but before the king of kings came the first time he had to have a forerunner come on somebody and the name of his forerunner 
was John the Baptist. And, but the Bible said in the last days it's not a one man thing. Somebody help me here. In the last days it's not a two man thing. Somebody help me here. In the last days it's not a three man thing. It's not a bishop thing. It's not an apostle thing. It's not a reverend thing. He said in the last days it will be all flesh. For he says in the last days I will pour out. Somebody help me out. Of my spirit upon all flesh. Oh! 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 So as Jesus get ready to return, as the King of Kings get ready to set up his seven kingdom, somebody got to be a forerunner to announce the coming of the Lord and the signs of his coming. But God said, one man can handle it. It's got to be his body. It's got to be his body.